So what I'm talking about, y'all, this is the Beat Conductors, Vernal Equinox Edition, you know what I'm saying? So we about to get into that battle right now, what we all came here for. This is the Merlin Bracket of the Beat Conductors, we about to rock right now. We got my panel of judges right here. I got my producers right here, they been rocking all night. We've had interviews, live performances going on all night. Them dudes been in the back working, getting that work in. But right now we want to introduce my judges. Judges, go ahead, stand up, approach the mic, let them know who you are and where you coming out from. Good, what's good? Joe Carter, Rogue Squirrel, Pixelated Creative, coming out from Frederick. I'm looking forward to seeing what these brothers can do. Josue coming out of Moe County, 20 minutes from here, Aspen Hill. Uh, just looking for uh, originality, man, who could bring like the most original shit to the table. So that's what I'm looking for. That was Mike from Move Clothing, then in VA, right there, but uh, uh, New York also. LA. Hey, what's up? I'm Juju, repping the lab. Um, and I'm a B girl and a beat maker and a professional violinist. And I wanted to say, give a shout out to Task and the lab and thank him for hosting the event. Talking about good luck, Tad. What up, what up? It's your boy Cartier, represent PG. Alan. What we talking about? So that's the panel of judges right there. And right now we're about to get into the producers. We're going to have them all get their name. Let them know where they residing out from in the DMV. Yo, it's the boy I Work Music. Coming straight from Temple Hills, Maryland. Rapping Speezy Gang. Speezy Gang, what up? Yeah, yeah. It's Carlisle. O'Brien Carlisle. Rapping PG. Land over Maryland all day. Yo, it's PG. Rapping Herndon, Virginia. Punch in production. Wilson Black, I rep Yawunde City by currently residing in Rockville, Maryland. Heck Dolo, and I'm holding it down for DMV, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. That's what it is. That's what it's all about right there. DMV, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So we about to get into the battle real quick. The first, you know what I mean, the attempt that they had to do for the night is a 2012 remix. So we gave them an old school track. They had some time to work on it. Come up with a new remix beat, fresh for the year, for the Vernal Equinox. They about to play it. But uh, before that, I want my DJ Olo to go ahead and play what that sample was so the people know what they had to work with. You ready, yo? Yeah, y'all know that joint, right? I think we all grew up to this joint. We all remember this joint when we was real young. One of them old time forever classics. Play a little air guitar for y'all. All right, they know what it is, though. That's what it is. Papa was a rolling stone. So we're going to set it off, starting this way, and work our way down. Y'all ready to get it in, producers? Y'all good? D and V, y'all good? That's what I'm talking about, B conductors, baby. El better represent.
what I'm talking about, baby. This is the B Conductors. Vernal Equinox Edition. Yo, they turned the heat up early in this show, man. Yo, we just had the 2012 remix. And yo, <laughs> my dudes is not playing in this show, man. So right now, we about to get into the Sample Slayer. This is the show that they received tonight when they came here. They never heard what they was going to sample prior to this evening. Olo played them a little joint. Let them hear it real quick. They took it in the back. They've been working on that joint for the past several hours, and they about to play it for y'all. So to recap, I'm going to get my DJ Olo to play that joint. Let them know what the sample is, oh. Mo, <laughs> that was sick right there. Yo, oh, who was that, man? That joint is called Muzi Kawi. Okay, that's that's Muzi Kawi because I know none of y'all knew, but that, that's what it was. And I know y'all still don't know, but that's, that's what it was. That joint is Ethiopian, <laughs> man. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, shout out to East Africa. So right now, son, we about to get into the Sample Slayer project. This is the second task. Our producers and DJs had to get it in for the night. So this time we gonna start on Hank's end. And we gonna slide this way down. Be conductors, baby.
about here, ladies and gentlemen? I want you to get yourself and your soul together. This man will make your liver quiver. This man will make your bladder splatter. This man will freeze your knees. If you will, let's all welcome the world's godfather foe. Y'all give it up for these producers, man. Give it up for these fellas, man. Yo, d and going hard, yeah. Yo, d and is looking real good right now. That's what I'm talking about. So you just bear witness to the sample slayer. These brothers was giving this beat. Well, they was giving a beat a couple hours ago, man. They been working back in the back on that jump, and this is what they came out with. Each one of them went hard, man. Judges, I feel for y'all, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm glad I ain't no judge, yeah. <laughs> But right now, we're about to get into our third and final round. This is the one-man army. This is where they pull stuff from up out their own stash. Whatever they wanted to play for y'all that they felt was suitable for the night, this is what we're about to get into. It's the third and the final round of Beat Conductors. Y'all give it up for these producers one more time. All right. So for this round, no, no, this round, let's start right here. We're going to start from the middle. We're going to go this way, and then we're going to come back around, end it off with Carl out. So we're going to start off with PG, go into Black, go into Hank, we're going to go into Works, and then we're going to end off with BC, all right? Y'all dig that? Yeah. BK, baby, let's do it.
Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's that genuine hip hop right there, man. B conductors representing D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, bringing it together the way it's supposed to be, man. Y'all give it up for these dudes one more time, man. Give it up for your producers. DMV, this your peoples right here. This your fam right here, you know what I'm saying? Give it up for them. That's what I'm talking about. So you witnessed the three rounds. We had the 2012 remix. We had the sample Slayer, and that was the one-man army. So right now, we're about to let the judges tally up their scores and deliberate all that goodness. We're going to get back with you in one second. Be conductors, baby. One love. Uh, I'm extremely impressed with the originality of uh, everybody's takes on uh, the samples and uh, the 2012 remixes. Everybody did a hell of a job. But uh, there was one standout. When I was looking around, I saw uh, crowd participation. I saw heads bobbing more to this specific person. And uh, I, I, just, I just felt it. You know, I, I was bobbing my head on the inside. I was trying not to give hints that, you know, he, he was my favorite out of the bunch. Everybody did a great job. I'm not, you know, putting anybody down. Everybody has potential that, that, that joins these competitions. And I respect that. And, you know, I, I loved everybody. But the one who stood out, my winner is Brandon Carlisle. Yeah, I think uh, I think everybody killed it tonight. Um, yeah, one one person stood out uh, as far as entertaining everybody. Uh, he was really into his music and and he didn't, he didn't slip up not once. And uh, that was Brandon Carlisle. First off, I wanted to say that uh, I saw I heard some crazy musicality, and uh, I wanted to give this to everybody on separate teams. <laughs> but overall. Uh, I'd like to say that there was consi more consistency with this one person. Um, he was a really good performer, um, and the first beat he did was, oh, I couldn't even sit still. And uh, so I give it to Brandon Carlisle. Yeah, first off, big ups to all the performers. Great stuff all around. Everybody should be proud of, proud of what they put out there. Um, at the end of the day, I had actually PG just edging out Brandon Carlisle for me. Uh, the big thing was, I just thought PG had consistency in every one of his, one of his beats. They were original, uh, they were all dope. Uh, I felt I, it, was, it was tough for me, it was tough because I actually agreed with the panel for the most part. I thought Carlisle was, was uh, exceptional with his, with his beats, but at the end of the day, I just felt like he slipped up just a little and I ended up having PG just edging him out. So, that's, that's my vote, PJ. What up, what up, it's your boy Cartier, Mr. He, he, he already know. One of the judges, man, and um, pretty much how, how I do my beats is, how I judge them is, like, what goes, what connects universal, what the girls like, what's hip-hop, what, what cross in the club and all that. And it was a lot of, you know, PG had some, he had some, some fire. Like PG, but um, it's how you start the show, man. Brandon started out crazy, started out hard, and he ended hard. All straight, one, one first round, second round, third round, he just, I don't know what it was. I don't know what he using, man, but them shits was crispy. I don't know if he mixed mass of the shit when he was back there. Them shit, them, them kicks, I was listening for them kicks, man. Them was crispy, man, so... Shout out to everybody, man. All the contestants. But I got to give it to Brandon, man. Good job, brother. Peace. All right. It's the Beat Conductors, baby. We still in this zone rocking. Y'all give it up one more time for these producers and these DJs. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Give it up for them. Give it up for your people, DMV. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a phenomenal night. Yo, these dudes came through ready. They took this zone seriously. It, it, it's such a good night, man. You know what I mean? Like, the, the beats that I heard this evening, it was also so on point, man. So right now, we're about to get into the deliberation and see who won this joint. We're going to start off with some crowd participation. So y'all going to cheer for which producer it is y'all like. We're going to start off right here at iWorks Music. Give it up for them.
we're talking about. Give it up for Brandon Carlisle. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now give it up for PG. Give it up for Wilson Black. Now give it up for Hank Dolo. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that sounds real good. A lot of love in the DMV. So look, this is how it went down. It was four to one. All these dudes is good, man. I'm so glad I did not have to be a judge in this competition because I don't know how I would have called it, man. That's how good these dudes is, man. But it was a four to one decision, and it went to Brandon Carlisle. Y'all give it up for Brandon Carlisle. Winner of the Beak Conductors, Merlin Brackett. Give it up, give it up for y'all winner. That's what I'm talking about, that respect is a good thing. So that's what it is, y'all. This is the Beak Conductors, man. This is how we represent. You know, it's just genuine hip hop. This is how we get down. This is the Vernal Equinox of 2012. This is how we bringing it in. Much love to Bolo. Much love to State of Mind Design. Much love to Move. Much love to Rogue Squirrel. This is how we represent y'all, B Conductors. One love. I'm your MC L Better. Let's get up out of here. Peace. <laughs>